Guys, marami-rami na rin akong video tungkol sa mga Poco phones. Pero ang dami-dami pa rin nagme-message sa akin. Ang dami-dami nagtatanong kung ano ba yung mga Poco phones na sulit. And gusto ko lang ibahagi sa inyo na kaya siguro maraming fans ng Poco. Dahil sa unang experience ko with the Poco phone, yung Poco F1, kitang-kita naman na value for your money. Until now, marami pa rin naka-Poco F1 na hindi pa rin nag-upgrade kasi sobrang sulit talaga ng phone na yun. And then, naranasan ko as a tech reviewer yung Poco X3 NFC na sobrang sulit sa presyo niya nung time na yun. Ngayon, sobrang sulit talaga ng mga Poco phones, lalo na at merong Poco Carnival na merong sale ongoing right now. Kaya tutulong ako yung pumili ng mga Poco phones na tama para sa inyo, sa budget nyo at sa pangangailangan nyo as well. So simulan muna natin by knowing kung ano yung mga series ng Poco phones. So meron tayong Poco M5 and M5S. So yung M series na to, dito po natin mahanap yung budget or entry level phones ni Poco. So ginagawa talaga nila tong super affordable para sa mga limited lang yung budget under 10,000 pesos. And right now, makukuha nyo to at around 7,000 pesos. Meron ka ng AMOLED display, MediaTek Helio G95. I'm talking about the Poco M5S. Mahirap talunin yung value nito, lalo na yung MediaTek Helio G95 is a really great performing chipset para sa gamers out there. I know, medyo outdated na yung G95 series, but again, if limited yung budget natin and ito lang talaga yung kaya natin, this is a good option. Kung gusto nyo pala makapanood ng updated na full review nitong Poco M5S, andun po sa channel ni Sir Sulit Tech. Napaka-detalyado po nun, so I would highly recommend you check out his channel kung ito talaga yung target mong bilhin. Susunod naman is yung X-Series. So ito naman yung mid-range segment ng Poco. So, ang namamayagpag talaga dito is yung Poco X5 Pro. Although, meron rin silang Poco X5 na naka-Snapdragon 695. Pero kung makikinig kayo sa akin, ang kunin nyo na po is yung Poco X5 Pro. Naka-sale rin po ito ngayong Poco Carnival. And makukuha nyo na lang to at around 16,000 pesos. Pwede nyo pang lagyan ng mga vouchers para mapababa pa lalo yung presyo. At ang best feature nito for the first time ever, ay ginandahan ni Poco yung camera performance ng phone nila. So, before kasi Poco was really known for its gaming performance. So, mas nakafocus talaga kasi sila sa mga gamers yung mahilig mag-gaming on their devices. So, we were surprised mga tech reviewers and actually yung mga users ng Poco X5 Pro na maganda talaga yung camera na na-provide nila sa atin. Actually, nung tinitas ko yung Poco X5 Pro for the first time, eh, talagang minessage ko yung mga content creator friends ko at sinabi ko sa kanila na merong surpresa si Poco at ayun na nga, pati sila inamangha sa kakayahan ng Poco X5 Pro and I'm not exaggerating guys kung naghahanap kayo ng magandang camera phone at this price range 15,000 peso price range this is probably the best recommendation I can give you Bukod pa sa camera ng Poco X5 Pro namamayagpag rin yung performance ng Snapdragon 778G Now, some would say na yeah, may mid-ranger lang yung 778G but this still gives you great performance for gaming. Kung tutu benchmark points ang titingnan natin, aabot to at around 500,000 ang tutu benchmark points. That is a solid score for a mid-range device and considering na hindi siya mainly gaming phone pero kaya niya parang mag-gaming, panalo-panalo na po itong Poco X5 Pro. Kaya kung tinatanong nyo until now kung sulit pa rin ba ang Poco X5 Pro, automatic po ang sagot dyan is yes na yes. By the way guys, remind ko lang pala kayo na lahat po ng official links nandiyan sa description box para sa discounted prices para dito sa Poco Carnival na event nila or promo. Susunod naman, pag-usapan na natin yung flagship level series ni Poco. So ito po yung F-series nila at tulad na sinabi ko, nagsimula to sa Poco F1 series nila and then we had the F2 Pro and then we had the super popular na Poco F3 and then we also had the very underrated Poco F4 and now we have the F5 and the F5 Pro. Along the way, nagkaroon rin tayo ng Poco F4 GT, which was one of my favorite sana dahil nga meron siyang physical shoulder triggers, but then naka-Snapdragon Triple H siya. And alam niyo naman na siguro yung heating or thermal problems ng chipset na yon. So, nakakapanghinayang kasi maganda sana yung performance nun and maganda yung camera nun for video taking, very stable. But luckily, we now have the F5 series to augment yung kawalan natin with the F4 GT. But before that, pag-usapan muna natin kung sulit pa rin ba until now yung Poco F4. Now, yung Poco F4 is very underrated kasi number one, nasa pawan siya ni Poco X4 GT. And number two, hindi masyadong nag-upgrade yung mga tao na naka-Poco F3 na. But of course, yung hindi pa nakabili ng Poco F3, 
automatic na Poco F4 yung top na choice nila. So feeling ko yung mga naka-Poco F4, ito yung parang feeling mo na middle child ka na hindi ka gaanong mahal pero alam mong may kakayahan ka, may ibubuga ka. I am sick of all you guys ganging up on me. You guys all think you're so much better than me. Oh, Meg, that is the least fancy thing I have ever heard. So, parang middle child syndrome. Pero don't worry guys, para sa akin, until now, in 2023, sulit pa rin ang Poco F4, lalo na kung makuha nyo sa tamang presyo, way lower than its SRP. And I think right now, naka-sale rin siya. And again, check out yun yung link dyan sa description box for the accurate pricing habang nakapoko Carnival Sale. So just a very quick overview, very capable pa rin yung Snapdragon 870 on the Poco F4. Kayang-kaya niya pa rin patakbuhin lahat ng favorite games mo in 2023. And then maganda rin yung display niya. Meron tayong AMOLED, meron Dolby Vision, meron 120Hz refresh rate. You will definitely enjoy watching a lot of videos on this device. At susunod naman, pag-usapan natin yung Poco F5. So this one, I think, is my favorite this year. Personal favorite lang naman dahil sa value na binibigay sa atin. Meron tong Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. Naka-AMOLED display. Solid naman yung camera performance niya except for the portrait mode. But of course, portrait mode, alam niya naman problematic most of the Xiaomi and Poco phones right now. But more importantly, yung performance ito sa gaming kasi I think most of you na bumili nitong Poco F5, eh, talagang habol yung gaming performance dahil nga napakalakas itong Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. And then, makukuha mo pa to under 20,000 pesos pag naka-sale. And right now, during the sale, makukuha nyo pa siya at an early bird rate once again. So para sa mga naka-miss out dun sa early bird rate sale ng Poco F5, this might be the time for you to get one. Kung naghahanap kayo ng bagong phone na malakas talaga, pangbaragan sa gaming, kayang-kaya nito. Solid yung thermals ito, hindi gaano umiinit while I was testing this. Whether it's Genshin Impact, Tower of Fantasy, Call of Duty Mobile, kahit anong iba mong mga games dito, eh kayang-kaya. I would say, flagship level of performance na ibibigay nito sa iyo at the cost of a mid-range device. Battery performance yeah, is solid as well. And then meron pa tayong 67 watts na fast charging. The Poco F5 is definitely one of my top recommended phones this 2023, lalo na kung price to value performance ang habol nyo sa isang device. No moving on, kung tingin nyo hindi pa rin sapat ang Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 sa pangangailangan nyo sa performance, then I think the Poco F5 Pro will satisfy you. Meron tong 4K 60fps na video recording na very stable and then yung performance niya of course slightly better than the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 just in case na kailangan mo talaga ng extra bit of performance sa mga games na nilalaro mo whether it's emulators or whether it's your triple A games na Genshin Impact Kayang-kaya po nito, wala pong problema, hindi man lang siya pagpapawisan. And then malapit pa dito guys, meron siyang wireless charging which is something that you can only find sa mga flagship phones before. Pero more than the wireless charging feature, I think yung good thermals ng phone na to ang pinaka the best para sa akin. Lalo na para sa mga hardcore gamers natin na viewers out there. Kung gusto nyo talaga na pambaraga na phone na hardcore gaming talaga at around 25,000 pesos na price range, definitely check out this Poco F5 Pro. Maganda po yung performance ito. Maganda po yung display niya. Simple lang naman guys, you just have to watch the full reviews ng Poco F5 Pro and you'll find out na isa talaga ito sa best performing devices para sa presyo niya. Now, if you're gonna ask me between the two phones, kung practicality lang naman yung pag-uusapan para sa akin, sapat na sapat na yung performance nitong Poco F5 but again, if you want the extra features gusto mo yung 4K 60fps na video recording gusto mo ng extra power pagdating sa performance mo of course, this is still a solid choice kung may extra money ka naman then you can spend it on here but para sa akin, the best choice sa value ng pera mo this is it, the Poco F5. So yun lang naman guys for this very short video. Hopefully nakatulong to sa inyo para mamili ng phone ngayon na merong ongoing sale sa Poco. Now before we end this video guys, I wanna read your thoughts on the Poco phones na nabanggit natin dito sa video. Kung may mga experience na kayo with the phones that I mentioned, eh, let me know in the comment section para matulungan natin yung mga viewers natin na hindi pa nakakapag-decide. But anyway, kung gusto mo pang manood ng mga videos ko, may mga ililink po ako dyan. Panigurado, magugustuhan nyo yung mga yan. So hanggang sa susunod, ako nga pala ulit si Janus ng Pinotech Dad. Kita-kita ulit tayo.